Today, uh, we are going to look at how we can create a grid using GIMP. Uh, GIMP is a free image editing software. Uh, it's open source. So you can create image grids for your various needs, be it for using in games or creating puzzles or just uh, displaying tabular data or any other needs you may think of. So let's start Jim now. So I have already installed Jim. So I'm not going to show how you are going to install Jim. That you can go to Jim website, download the Jim, and uh, install it in uh, Windows or whichever OS you are going to use. Okay. Okay. There's a uh, new version of Jim available. So I will just use what I have now. Okay. Mine is 2.10. One eight. So first, let me create an image. So go to File, New, and this is the default width. I will create a small image, five twelve by five twelve pixels. Okay. Now I have this white image, which is uh, five twelve pixels in width and five twelve pixels in height. So I don't want this white background. Let me change it to yeah, this blue looks fine. So I'll take the bucket fill foreground and apply. It. Okay, now I have a cool blue background. So now to create a grid, uh, just go to filters, then go to render. You have pattern and then click the grid. Okay, so the grid color I need to change because otherwise you will not be able to distinguish between your foreground and background. So let me change it to white. Yeah, now this is the default grid that Jim has created. And this uh, looks good for many of our needs. But if you want to say increase the grid width or height, you can do this using these uh, sliders. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, better, uh, a bigger grid. And say if you think these lines are small, you can adjust it using the line sliders. These adjusters, you can adjust the width and height. Okay. So, yeah, even a smaller grid line looks better. So now another thing I want to show you is you can in fact adjust this width and height independent of each other. And for that, you will need to click this button to unlink these two. Now you can change the width alone or height alone uh, as per your needs. So uh, let me increase the width and decrease the height. Okay. Yeah, this looks fine. Similar is the case with the width of the lines. So let me create a um, bigger height. So I am going to increase the height of the lines. And yeah, here again, you need to unlink these two if you want to move them independently. I want to move them independently. So let me um, do it like this. And yeah, so this is, this is what I was looking for. This is something like a window. This is what I want to create. So using, uh, or you by adjusting these fields, you can create a pretty cool uh, grid formats. Uh, okay, and yeah, see this offset also you can uh, you, you need to adjust if you want your image uh, to look good. So so we can adjust these things a little bit here and there and yeah. All right, so this looks good. Okay, and now I click OK and the grid is, now the grid is generated. So we can now go and save it. Save, you can create save as, and uh, let me save it somewhere. So yeah, pictures and name it as grid. So now, you, now what you see is, so this is the Jim's format. It's not an image, okay? This is a Jim file, so I'm going to uh, save it as this gym format I saved it so now you may need to export it in um, another format so for that you can create this 
uh, file export and yeah so now i can uh, export it in png or you want you can export it in uh, jpeg format okay let me export it into grid this grid into png format okay Yeah, I will keep all these um, no things default, but I will definitely remove the comment. Yeah, comment exit data. All these things I don't need, so we can. So that will reduce your image size if you if you don't want to include those metadata. And you can see that the image is exported to uh, the particular folder you 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 have seen. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it, do subscribe to the channel and also click the bell button so that you get updates as soon as a new video is posted. Thank you.